Hi guys, this is going to be the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this fancy bottle holder. And this is probably the easiest crocheted bottle holder that you're going to find. It is super, super easy. And for this uh, pattern, you're going to need a four millimeter hook or a size G hook. But for the purposes of the tutorial, I'm going to be using a five millimeter hook size H hook. But I recommend to use the four. Also, I'm using for the purposes of this tutorial, four ply for the US, 10 ply for Australia. So the four ply yarn and the five millimeter hook is just strictly going to be for the tutorial. But the pattern will call for the four millimeter hook and the size of this yarn is sports. Uh, for the US and for the UK it's four ply and for Australia it's five ply. Like I said you can find all that information about the original yarn on the site itself. So let me go ahead and move this out of the way and we can get started. Okay to begin we want to do a chain of four. One, two, three, four. Before you create your slip knot you can leave a little bit of a tail. I just like to because I like to hide it but uh, you can also use it to work over in round one and you can use it to pull to tighten your hole later on if you want. So once you do your chain of four, find that very first chain that you did and slip stitch. Then we're going to be working now in this ring that we just created. So you want to chain two. I feel like I'm a little far away still. Okay. So we're going to chain two and now working in this ring and over your tail, you want to double crochet 15. The chain two will count as your first stitch. So at the end of your row, around I should say, uh, you'll have 16 stitches total, including that ch beginning chain two. So go ahead and do your 15 double crochets. So two, four, five. Sorry if you hear the noise in the background. I'm on the fourth floor and there's a building right next to me and there's a bunch of construction going on in the building and they're just throwing stuff over the side. So you can hear it crash every so often. But I wasn't going to let their noise stop me from making this tutorial for you guys today. Okay, so let me count two. I'm not counting the uh, beginning chain here. Just counting my double crochets. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Feel free if you need to just pull everything. And that's fifteen, right? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Wait. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Plus my chain two at the beginning. That's sixteen stitches. So let's go ahead and slip sh slip stitch in the top of our chain two to end round one. So for round two, we're going to be increasing. So you want to chain two. And in that same stitch, you want to put a double crochet. Now for each double crochet around, you're going to be putting two double crochets in each double crochet. We're going to double all our stitches. So last round we had 16 stitches, so the end of this round you should have 32. And if you want, you can pull this not too much, but if you want to close your hole a little bit, you can pull that just to close it slightly. And then later on you can cut this or you can hide it. It's up to you. But it will mess with um, how tight it is here, so you don't want to do it too much. Because then it will get kind of wonky. Anyway, go ahead and uh, put two double crochets in all your stitches around and I'll see you back here at the end of row two. Okay, so for this last uh, two stitches, right now I have, I'm sitting on 30 stitches right now. I need 32. This is my last stitch. But what I like to do for this pattern, and I've done this pattern, this beginning actually, a lot, is uh, 
you kind of have this stitch here where your chain two comes out and it creates kind of a space so for these last two double crochets I put one in the stitch where it's supposed to go but then the second double crochet I put here in this little stitch close to your chain just to kind of close that space up you don't have to you can just go ahead and put your two double crochets in the last one but I really feel like it closes that space more so when you're done find the top of your chain two and slip stitch be careful to make sure you get the top of the chain two and not the top of your double crochet okay so far super easy right well the next row uh, sorry round the next round three is probably the hardest uh, actually it is the hardest row of it all but once you get it it's super easy and easy sailing after that so I'm going to take you through really slowly and make sure that you get all your stitches in the right place and then you can just mind numbingly, numbingly do it while you watch something if you want okay so you want to chain two and then find that chain right underneath your very last chain from the previous uh, previ previous round and you want to do a front post double crochet on that so yarn over find the post of that chain two and then you're going to pull the loop through there and you're going to work a double crochet on the post of the chain two now you want to skip the very next double crochet so in the next double crochet we're going to create our peak stitches and your peak stitches are all worked in the same stitch and they consist of two double crochets, chain one, then two double crochets. Super easy. Now this is probably the uh, biggest mistake that you may make. So you want to make sure you find which double crochet that this, uh, that your peak stitch was just worked in because you want to skip the next one and then the following one you want to work a, a front post double crochet onto this post the most dangerous area that I found is that you don't skip the correct one so you don't you, you don't count this one right and then the next one doesn't get skipped correctly and you don't get in the next one and then it messes up your whole count so just make sure after you've done your peak stitch that you find that double crochet that is worked in that peak stitch, skip the next one, and then the, the uh, following one you'll put your front post double crochet on. So we're going to do that again. We're going to skip the next stitch, and then in the following stitch, on this double crochet, in the stitch of the double crochet, we're going to work our peak stitch, which is two double crochets chain one and two double crochets now find that double crochet that you just worked in you're going to skip this next one and then the following you'll put your front post double crochet worked on that one so again skip the next one then the following one you'll put your peak stitch two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. Grab a hold of that post that you just worked in, skip the next one, and then the following one, put your front post double crochet on. Take your time, do this row, like I've been showing you make sure you put everything in the right one and once you do that's the hardest row of it after that once you've got it all where it's supposed to be after that you'll just be working in your peak stitches and your front post double crochet you'll be putting front post double crochets on your front post double crochets and your peak stitches and your peak stitches and it'll be super super easy so you'll be repeating round four over and over and over again so please just take your time go through it like I've been doing meticulously and make sure that you put it in the right place and then I'll show you how to end this row I'm sorry this round okay I'm just finishing up my last peak stitch here on the end then when you come to the end of your row you want to slip stitch in the top 
of the front post double crochet not onto the post of the double crochet but follow that front post up to the top of the stitch and then this is where you'll slip stitch to end your row now this is the repeat for round four you'll always chain two and then you'll front post onto the front post your very first front post here front post double crochet going to front post double crochet onto your front post double crochet then in your peak stitch here in your chain one of your peak stitch you're going to repeat the same peak stitch you'll put two double crochets chain one and two double crochets and then you will do a front post double crochet onto your front post double crochets and you'll come back to your peak stitch and do your peak stitch of two double crochets chain one and then two double crochets and then again you'll want to work a front post on your front post and you're going to keep repeating this around and around and around okay I want to check my pattern I did this for a total of 22 rows but uh, you can go more I don't know what size bottle that you want you can also go shorter but do as many rows as you want and then I'm going to show you how to create the strap so I'm going to go ahead and do this for a few more rows just so I can easier uh, more easily show you how to do the strap quickly I just want to reiterate make sure that you use the top of the stitch not the front post double crochet follow it up to the top of the stitch and slip stitch in the top of the stitch and not the front post double crochet when you're ending a, a round okay I repeated row four for a little while just to get it uh, on the side here so I can show you how to do the strap so on round 23 or however long that you've done it and you're ready to start the strap you want to end the row as usual and then to start your strap you're going to chain two we're done with front post double crochets so you're going to chain two and you're going to work your peak stitch the same as always two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets and then you're going to double crochet in the top stitch of the front post double crochet so now you're going to be working in rows you'll be chaining two, turn do your peak stitch in your peak stitch by doing your two double crochets, chain one and then two double crochets and then you want to find because you've you've got this stitch here so it's a little hard so maybe start from the bottom count one two up but in the top of the chain two you're going to be putting a double crochet there and you're going to continue this you'll chain two turn do your peak stitch is normal and then you'll be putting a double crochet in the top of your chain two then you'll chain two and turn and you'll just continue to to do this over and over and over again for your strap I did a total of 22 rows but you can keep doing it for as long as you want uh, your strap to be but keep in mind this is only half so you're going to be doing half here and then we're going to be attaching our yarn again to complete our other side of our strap and then we're going to bring our strap together and we're going to sew those two together the reason why I'm doing that that way you'll have your pattern going straight up the strap on this way and then straight up the strap on this way it looks well I have it right here I could just show you <laughs> see it continues for both sides so that way it looks really nice so you can just continue making it as long as you want keep it even and then when you get to the end and they're both even then you can sew it 
So first let me go ahead and get my strap just a little bit longer and then I'll show you how to attach it on the other side and do it for the other side. Okay, I went ahead and did it for a few more rows just so it'll be easier to show you. So when you're done with your strap on this side, to end your strap here, you're going to go ahead and chain two and you're going to skip the very first double crochet and then the next double crochet you're going to put a single crochet. Then you're going to put a single crochet in the center of your peak stitch and then again you'll put a double crochet in the very next, I mean I'm sorry, you'll put a single crochet in your very next double crochet. Then again you're going to skip this very last one. So you're only going to skip the first and the last double crochet of your peak stitch. And then you're going to do a double crochet here in the top of your chain two as usual. Then you'll chain one and then you'll cut your yarn. This is my tutorial yarn so I'm not going to cut my yarn. I'm just going to go ahead and grab up another color. Okay, but first let me show you where you need to put your strap. Now if you turn it to the side you can see how there's what I'm going to be calling is a chamber. So you've got this chamber with this strap. You've got one chamber here, two chambers, three chambers, and then four chambers. Hold on to the fourth chamber here. You can see you have three empty chambers on this side and three empty chambers on this side. So you're going to be working in like the middle, the fourth one. So you'll have three chambers on this side, three chambers on this side. This fourth one here is where you're going to be working in. You're going to be attaching your yarn back again. And since I'm not cutting mine, just going to grab up another color here. Now you can atta attach your yarn uh, any way you like. You can go into the front post double crochet, the top of the stitch of it, and you can just attach your yarn by slip stitching like this and then chaining two. Or you can have more of a cleaner look and do a double crochet attachment, which is what I prefer, which is just yarning over and get it on screen here. Yarn over and then insert it into the correct one, which I just lost. One, two, three. This is my fourth chamber. So into the, the top, of, top stitch of your front post double crochet. And then you're going to pull a loop through that stitch. And then you're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. It's a little weird for me when I teach it. It shows it's kind of strange up there. So I'm just going to do it normal. there. Okay, so once you have your double crochet in the stitch of your front post double crochet, you're, again you'll be doing your peak stitch the same way. There are two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, and then you'll be finding the top, the stitch of your front post double crochet and you're going to work a double crochet. And then again, you'll chain two and turn, and you'll be working the strap the same way you did this one. So I did this for one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rows. So I'm going to do another ten rows here, and then I will show you how to sew them together. Okay, I did my ten rows with this for my other side of the strap. And now I'm going to end it just like I did the other one. You need to chain two, turn. Again, we're going to skip that very first double crochet, single crochet in the next double crochet, single crochet in the center of the peak stitch, single crochet in the next double crochet. We're going to skip this very last double crochet and we're going to double crochet in the top of our ending chain two. So now we have a flat top here and a flat top here. Now we're ready to sew them together, but you don't want to sew them like this where the, the good side is showing. You want to make sure that you flip them this way so that you have the sewing part on the other side. So I guess I'm going to do with my green so you can see a little better, I hope, the stitches. Okay, so I'm going to line them up. Now I'm going to flip them like this so that back side is facing back side. You can turn the whole thing inside out if you want just to make sure and nothing gets in your way. 
And then what I did is I, I chained one, then I inserted my hook in my very first stitch on this strap, then I found my first, the top of my chain two here. You can even do it in the space, it's not that big a deal, but I'm going to try to get it in the top of the chain. And then you're going to pull your yarn through both of those and then single crochet. Single crochet is such a stronger attachment and using a single crochet, will, single crochet will also add a little bit more cushion here for you on your shoulder. So again, I'm going through both of the straps. I'm not going through just one loop. I'm going through both of my loops here and I still feel like I'm too far away. Going through both of my loops here and then my next, my very first single crochet on this side going under both the loops there too. Slip, st I mean pull the loop through both of those and single crochet. Now remember we did our double crochet, that's our first single crochet, remember we have two more single crochets left and then our last double crochet on the end. So just take your time and get each one of those, there's five stitches total, here is my last one, I'm going to the top of my chain two here and then the top of my double crochet on this side and then single crochet. Now you'll chain one and you'll cut your yarn and then you can turn your bottle holder inside out. Let me back up just a little bit. I always choose the wrong direction. So and then that will be how you will make your very very easy but stylish fancy bottle holder so that's it guys please don't forget to like and share and comment down below this video it helps me out so much also if you always want to be notified whenever i release a new tutorial you can click that little bell button beside my subscribe button and it'll always send you a notification also i have two groups on facebook one called crochet zone public and the other is crochet for the masses crochet zone public is uh, anything goes there basically as long as it's crochet related if you're looking for more of a private group you can join us over a crochet for the masses also I have uh, boards on Pinterest I have a community board on Pinterest where lots of designers will post and it's free crochet patterns only no spam so I really recommend you check that out also I now have a newsletter where I, I send out an email blast once a week updating you on everything that I released for that week including uh, any uh, you know groups of, of uh, you know link roundups <laughs> is what I'm trying to think link blast roundups any older patterns or what's new on my shop all, everything new for me that week so please take a moment and you can find the link down below you can find all those links down below this video so that's it guys thank you so much for watching